So today we've got something a little bit different for my channel. Um, I often get asked about what outfits, what apparel, what situations are best for certain fragrances. That's kind of a long running question for a lot of people. Um, granted, at the end of the day, you can wear whatever you want at any time, but certain scent profiles just pair better with certain apparel styles for certain situations. That's just reality. And I was actually very inspired by a video that my buddy Justin did not that long ago on a similar topic where he featured pairing certain fragrances to certain outfits. And I'm kind of going to walk a similar path here with the idea. It might be slightly different because it's my take versus his take. But here I'm bringing you four particular outfit styles that are, you know, what I wear and a designer and niche fragrance that I would pair with each. So let's talk about it. Stay tuned. So it's always easiest to just roll with what I'm wearing right now. This is my casual, laid back, around the house outfit for the day. And uh, starting with the designer fragrance, it's actually my scent of the day. It is Y-E-D-P. It just pairs with just about anything. Granted, I think this fragrance can go as far as you want it to, though I really wouldn't want to wear this with a suit and tie. Honestly, if you're in a pinch, it will work. It can be that one fragrance to do it all. But here, a laid back, casual day where just wearing a t-shirt, have a hat on, um, lounge shorts. Those aren't quite joggers. I know you couldn't see all the way down to my feet with uh, some Under Armour Project Rock 2 shoes on, you know, some casual training shoes. Uh, just works. I mean, it does a little bit of everything. It's not too sweet. It's not too fresh. It's kind of got a pretty good, well-balanced for the most part, some freshness, some sweetness. It's a little synthetic. It projects pretty heavy. It kind of announces you're here before you even walk up especially in the first two hours or so of the fragrance's life but it does have more of a casual appeal that's why i felt like it was the perfect fragrance for this particular outfit today it just screams more casual to me than it does does even semi-formal business casual type of approach whereas i think that's another sweet spot for it but i do deem it a bit more casual the y line as a whole is a bit more of a casual designer line because it's a not so serious type of scent profile but it does pull a compliment on occasion it does perform really well and uh yeah like i said it's just a nice casual approach overall my designer choice which is exactly what i'm wearing today is y edp and then another one that has another laid back casual approach to the scent profile but on a higher quality standpoint, you know, my niche pick here is Wulong Cha from Nishane. Here you get some nice herbal green tones. You get some citrus, some freshness, some light woods. <sighs> Man, it's such a beautiful, beautiful fragrance overall. It's very bright, crisp, and uplifting, but still very casual at the same time. This is another one that I think could do semi-formal business casual very well, especially because of the quality of the fragrance and a bit of the uniqueness of the scent profile because it does nuance it has some complexity to it but hey at the end of the day that's the difference from going from designer to luxury niche in the first place is you expect a bit more complexity and more quality and here that's exactly what you're getting but it's not an overly serious scent profile that has any daring aspects to it or any challenges of wear or smells like a serious fragrance it's very laid back the brightness the freshness really gives it that tone but this lovely herbal kind of green tea note that it has really calms everything back a little bit with the scent profile brings all that brightness back down to earth after a few minutes and keeps you pretty well grounded that's why i think it suits a casual a casual apparel very very well because it's a very grounded and laid back scent profile performance of course is great though not quite on the level of the yedp fragrance which was my designer pick. This is still every bit of an eight hour fragrance for being so bright and fresh. But casually, I would rock with Wulong Cha from Nishane. Next, it dials up just a bit. We're talking jeans and a polo shirt. Here in this situation, I'm actually wearing an Under Armour golf shirt with some nice Calvin Klein jeans. Just a 
Still pretty casual look, but a bit more of a versatile look because it's jeans and a collared shirt of some sort. So maybe not as laid back, whereas the scent choices that I picked for casual would technically work here as well, but I feel like you want to step up the character just a little bit as you start to add buttons and collars and length to your pants and so on, if you know what I mean. And my designer pick is H24 from Hermes. It's a very interesting fragrance. It has a green citrusy type of smell to it, and there's no citrus here. It kind of smells like the rind of a bergamot, if you will, like the citrus peel. But the, again, there's no citrus notes. They have metallic notes. There's a clary sage green type of feel to it. It's a little bit more serious, but I still wouldn't call it a serious fragrance. It's a bit more of a unique fresh fragrance that has a bit of a sporty vibe to it, honestly. That's kind of why this was one of the first designer fragrances that came to mind with a golf shirt, honestly. It has a sporty vibe. Now, is this something I wear to play golf? No, it's not, but... It just seems like the right pairing to go with something a bit more casual, but not too casual. Whereas this one can dress up a little bit more than just a t-shirt, in my opinion. Like I said, it's a very unique scent profile. This one came out to mixed reviews last year at the recording of this. And it's one that I really feel like more people need to give a chance. It's definitely different. It's outside of the box for a new designer release. It's definitely out the box thinking for Hermes, and I commend them for doing so. I think if they go the path of making several versions of this, different flankers like they did with the Terre d'Hermes line, I believe they will have a lot of success. And I think this is one of those scent profiles that dictates a little bit more than just a t-shirt, which is why I felt like it was perfectly suited for a polo style shirt with jeans. It's still casual, but it's not too casual. So Hermes H24, I think a great scent profile for that. And then when it comes down to my niche choice, it's kind of a similar vibe here where it's casual, but not too casual. It's a fresher take on the Aventus vibe, if you will. It is bondnumber9.com. My favorite fresher take on the Aventus DNA. Performance is great. Has a really strong compliment factor. It's another one that's casual, but not too casual and has kind of a sporty feel because it's so fresh and fruity. It doesn't have any of the floral tones or the smokiness of Aventus. It really takes the fresh side of that scent profile and enhances it. That's kind of how I've always viewed bondnumber9.com. That's why I deem it not as dressy as an Aventus can be. That's a bit more serious of a fragrance in my opinion as far as the scent profile is concerned. Darker, smokier, floral, and such. Much more musky here. It's a lot more woody, fruity, citrus, fresh. Very inviting, very warm weather appropriate, such as a golf shirt, for example, and it pairs really nice with jeans as well. Like I said, casual, but not too casual, just like with H24. It lends itself a little bit more character than the most casual of fragrances that you would want to wear with a t-shirt, with shorts, or anything of the such. So my niche pick for that is bondnumber9.com. Next, you can call this kind of business casual semi-formal, if you will. It's a button-down Oxford shirt, you know, slacks in a belt, so a bit a bit less casual than jeans and a golf shirt, for example, and much more dressed up than a t-shirt and shorts would be, obviously. So it's a little bit more refined, but still not too serious at the same time. This is a versatile look. You can do a lot of things here, and I feel like the proper scent profile needs to fit that do a lot of things, yet still kind of polished feel. And Blue de Chanel Parfum does that better than most. Here it has that not so serious appeal, but it's polished and refined to where you can dress this to the nines and you're gonna smell great. This is a wonderful designer fragrance for these business casual semi-formal looks because a lot of people that work in office settings, this is their daily style of apparel. And fragrances like Blue de Chanel are parfums specifically are perfect for that. Here you have that all day staying power without that in your face punch of projection. It's a bit more subdued, especially after the first hour, and it does have enough density to, this, to the aroma with the, the oil concentration to linger in the air as you pass by, and it can catch a few people and potentially get you a nice compliment or a ooh, you smell good type of thing, but it is a little bit more refined. It doesn't have that bright opening of the EDT. It loses some of the citrus appeal and some of that smokiness of the EDT and the EDP. You still have a little bit of zestiness and freshness from this lemon zest note up top, but it's much more smooth, warm woods, 
cashmere wood, isoe super, which it does have a nice dose of, sandalwood to provide a little bit of a creaminess. Like I said, this is a much more smooth fragrance. It's very polished. So semi-formal business casual apparel suits this scent absolutely perfectly. I feel like this is the apparel that is the sweet spot for Blue de Chanel Parfum. So it was an easy choice there. And then I would consider the niche equivalent to that style, while not the same scent profile as Blue de Chanel Parfum, I would describe this very closely to how I describe Blue de Chanel Parfum, being Raja Parfum's Danger Parfum Cologne. This is just as polished, refined, but not too serious at the same time, yet you can dress this one to the nines as well but it's a not so in your face, especially if you're mindful of the sprays for your setting, it really works. It's smooth, it's refined, it's classy, it's got a little bit of elegance here, but it's not too serious, it's not daring, it's smooth and refined. Like I was saying, I would a lot of the same ways I describe Blue de Chanel Parfum is a lot of the same ways I would describe Danger Parfum Cologne. You have the staying power, it does have more, more projection, to it. It definitely will stand out a bit more, especially if you do five to seven sprays like I typically do with Danger Parfum Cologne versus Blue de Chanel Parfum, though the quality level is stepped up greatly here. You're outside the realm of designer level oils to a more luxury high quality fragrance, and this has a more serious approach, but still not too serious. Like I said, it's laid back at the same time. While I wouldn't want to just wear this one with a t-shirt, I think Oxford's are where this is best suited. It can go with an overcoat, suit, tie, it works, but I really think the sweet spot for this scent profile is kind of back, kind of the, the less serious version of Scandal Parfum Cologne, if you will, because that's much more herbaceously green, spicy, and warm. It has a much more serious appeal, whereas this is a similar tone. They're both aromatic fougeres, but this has more freshness and citrus, and I find a bit more light woods to it in the background. So it's a bit more playful while not being playful, if that makes sense. So business casual, semi-formal, Apparel situations, I think the ideal choice, as far as luxury niche, is Roger Parfum's Danger Parfum Cologne. Finally, the suit and tie. I mean, there's a lot of really good fragrances out there. For me personally, I like lavender. I like dense woods. I like spices. I like barbershop style fragrances, and I like fougeres and oriental style fragrances, if you will. That's kind of my go-to when it comes to suit and tie apparel. Here, it's a bit more serious, a bit more refined, because you are going the route of button to the neck with a tie, and you do have a blazer or full-on two-piece suit at this point. And I think fragrances like this, this is actually a new release. I really think Dracar Intense would suit this very well because it has that nice refined approach. It doesn't smell overly synthetic for a very affordable designer fragrance. And it has a little bit more of a modern touch than classic Dracar Noir. And I've never smelled the original Dracar, which this is reimagined from, but this is a more modern take on it because you get slight hits of a booziness. There's a little bit of sweetness in the background when it starts to dry. It does smell like a much more modern, refined scent profile. This is actually quite nice. I just recently got this. I've only worn it two or three times, actually two times so far. And I'm really digging this one. You can find this one in the $30 to $40 range on eBay currently from a lot of sellers. And the performance is average to slightly above average. It'll get you through most work days. I mean, it depends. If you're wearing a suit and tie, you're going to have the 8 to 10 hour work day probably. And I really think this really suits that more serious approach where I deem the most serious of apparels to be black tie events. Here, we're stepping down from that, whereas it's beige, navy blue, gray types of colors, more business appropriate colors with maybe a fun tie and, you know, some patterning to your shirt as I chose for this particular setup. I think Dracar Intense really fits that, where it's refined and polished, but not super daring, crazy conversation starter. I think Dracar Intense really fits this perfectly. Now, as far as luxury niche. I think none do this particular apparel better because it's my absolute favorite to wear with any suit and tie, a blazer even without a tie and the top two buttons undone. My favorite for this apparel has always been Zaharoff Signature Pour Homme. That is no secret. Every suit and tie video, office fragrance, 
you know, video I've done, this is always in there because it's the first fragrance I think of. Because this has the quality, the luxury, and that bossly approach, that refined, serious side that's not daring. This smells like the guy with the Rolex on, the guy with the $150, $200 tie on, the guy with the $1,000 belt and the $500 wallet. Am I necessarily saying you have to have that to wear this? Absolutely not. But the point is it smells of luxury, class, and the finer things in life. That is what this smells like to me. That's why I always deem it my favorite, my default answer and choice for a suit and tie. It's just refined, it's smooth, it's professional, it's masculine and matured without smelling like an old man. It gets the job done. I know there's a lot of you out there that have tried this, that own this, that are gonna agree with everything I say. And if you haven't, you really should try it. You can always get a sample. There's always a link in my link tree. It's easy to get a sample of this and try it for yourself. This is the base DNA for all of the wonderful fragrance offerings from the house. And I still deem it, with all of the beautiful things that have come out from Zaharoff at this stage at the recording of this video, this is still the most refined, masculine, I run the show type of smell. That's why it's so good for a suit and tie. And you really should try this if you haven't yet because it's definitely my default pick for a suit and tie. So a little bit different video style and topic than usual for my channel. Um, just trying something different. I felt like it was a good idea. Justin really inspired me with what he did. Obviously not the exact same cinematic approach, uh, but these are my default picks for the most part. Some newer to the collection, some channel favorites, some that are just my go-tos. Danger Parfum Cologne with an Oxford. That's the first one I think of. Zaharoff Signature Pour On with a suit and tie. Again, first one I think of and so on. There's a lot of fragrances that could have went in the casual segment of the video, but I felt like going with what I'm wearing currently and a nice niche pick that I feel mirrors its qualities was really the route to go. I hope you guys enjoyed this style of video. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and until next time guys, y'all have a good one.